What's happening guys, welcome back. As you can see, my office is looking super empty and that's why I haven't made a video in quite a while because we're moving house on Monday. So everything's being packed up and most of my stuff is in boxes and all that. So apologies for not being around and making more videos, but today I have a review that I meant to do a long time ago and I got my hands on a lens. Of course, I'm talking about the Tamron 28-75 for Sony. The problem was when I first got it, it was a pre-production model and it was having issues with the focus system. A lot of you guys know that that was an issue when it first came out and it received quite a few bad reviews and I just didn't see the point in making another bad review about the same thing that everybody talks about. So I gave the lens back to Tamron and said, once it's fixed, I'll take it again and I'll do another review. This time Auckland Camera Center actually had a copy spare, so thanks to those guys for lending it to me to make this video. So I thought I'd mix things up a little bit, seeing as I don't have my usual office space all ready to go. So I took the lens, I put a GoPro on top of my camera, and I just went for a walk around taking some photos and stuff like that. So first I went to Pihar Beach, and then I went to a local park nearby and just shot a few photos there. Because I figure as it's a really universal lens, it's really lightweight, it's gonna be something people are gonna use for travel, just walking around with your kids, doing some fun stuff when you're sort of walking around for a long time and you want that versatility of a zoom lens, the 28-75 on a full frame is a really good option. So I don't actually have it with me now, I had to take it back, we're on a bit of a time schedule with this whole move, but I'm going to say build quality is pretty good, it definitely feels cheaper than the G Master lens, it's definitely got a lot more plastic in it than the G Master lens, but for the price you pay I feel like it's made to a really high standard. So. Definitely not built as well as all the pro Sony lenses, but for the money you get, it's good value. Tamron do say it's weather sealed and it does have the rubber gasket around the back of the lens, which is really nice to see. The zoom ring and the focus ring feel really nice and smooth, but other than that, there's no buttons or anything or switches on the lens itself. So if you wanna to go to manual focus, you have to go into the menu and change it from auto to manual, which is a little bit of a hassle in my opinion. I really like the G Master lenses, how you can just flick it off on the lens. So as I said, I went down to Pihar, I took some photos of the rocks down there, and then I went to the park after that and just walked around the lake, got some photos of the autumn colors and some of the wildlife around there. And the first thing I noticed at 2.8 on the focus point, if you're right into the center, if you have a look at this bird here, the eye is really, really sharp, so it's quite impressive. I have seen mixed reviews about the 2470 G Master versus the 2875 when it comes to corner sharpness and stuff like that. I'm suspecting there's a little bit of copy variance either in the Sony or the Tamron lens, I'm not sure which one. In the center, the lenses were about the same. Some cases, the 2.8 G Master had a little bit of an edge, but this Tamron is super sharp as well. And when you're talking about right out to the outside edges, um, both lenses are really great. I think the Sony takes a little bit of an edge right in the corners, but the Tamron keeps up and when you stop it down, it just gets better and better. Color rendering is really nice. It didn't have any sort of orange or greeny overlays that I've seen in some of the Sigma lenses. Focus speed after the update, like I was saying before, now it's just crazy fast. It's really nice, it's really impressive. And I'm gonna say by far it's the best focusing lens out of any aftermarket lens that I've used on a Sony camera. So the Sigmas and the Samyang lenses, I'd say this 28-75 Tamron definitely focuses faster than those and it's definitely more accurate. Video focus is really good. I had a commercial shoot yesterday which I can't share any of the footage unfortunately but the autofocus for video is really nice and smooth. It didn't hunt or anything like that. I'm gonna say it pretty much focused like the G Master zoom lenses in terms of video. So overall, I think it's a really great option, to be honest. Um, it's a lot cheaper than the Sony G Masters. Like I said, the build quality is probably going to be the biggest thing that's going to suffer from it. Um, the G Master is definitely built a lot tougher. And, you know, if you're a full-time pro and money wasn't so much of an issue, I'd probably go for the G Master. But if you want something that's really light, really small, uh, much, much cheaper and still has really good image quality, then I have no problems recommending the Tamron at all. At the end of the day, it's gonna come down to who you are and the money you wanna spend. As always guys, all these raw files are gonna be available in the download link below. Check them out, have a play with them, and you guys let me know in the comments what you think of the images yourself. All these photos were edited with my presets and the new ones are out at the moment and they are pretty heavily discounted. So head over if you want to check those out. I've separated them, so if you already have the old ones, you can buy the new ones and just add them on. 
or the whole pack of all of them is discounted also. So thanks for watching guys. That's my honest thoughts on the 28 to 75 Tamron. I'll see you guys in a couple of days when we've moved into our new house on Monday and we're gonna have to figure out a new studio situation. We have a really big downstairs basement garage type thing. So we're gonna look at building something in there and I'm gonna look for your guys' input. So keep an eye out for that. Let me know what you think I should do. See you in a couple of days.